This question asks for the transfer function, and what we're given is a difference equation. So the transfer function, remember, is simply um, h of z, okay? And what we're given is y of n in terms of y of z. So we don't have h of n. So if we had h of n, then h of z is simply the z transform, transform of h of n. But we don't have h of n, so that's not going to work. But what we can do is somehow rewrite y in terms of x, because another expression for h of z is the ratio of y of z over x of z. So if somehow we can get our difference equation in that form, then we can find the transfer function. So let's try taking the z transform of each term. Remember, z transform is a linear process, so we're allowed to do that. I can take um, the z transform of each of these terms. So the z transform of y of n is simply y of z. The z transform of 2y of n minus 1 is 2y of z times z to the minus 1. Remember, that's what our delay operator there does. So that delay gives me that um, z to the minus 1 term. And then the z-transform of x to the power n is simply x to the power z. So now the question is, can I rewrite this in that form? Is that possible? If that's possible, then we can find the um, transfer function. So we want y of z in terms of x of z, but what we have here is y of z on the left and right hand side. So first step is to bring the y's together. So we'll have y of z minus two y of z times z to the minus one equals three x of z. Then you can take y of z is a common factor, y of z into 1 minus 2 z to the minus 1 equals 3 x of z. Remember, what we're trying to find is y of z over x of z. So I can simply divide both sides by x of z, well, divide both sides by x of z, and divide both, both sides by this term, and that will give me y of z over x of z equals 3 over 1 minus 2 z to the minus 1. And that is my transfer function. So I've just found the transfer function by taking the z transform of my difference equation here. Now I could simplify this to get rid of the negative power there, so I could multiply by z over z, and that would give me 3z over z minus 2, which is a slightly nicer looking version of the transfer function, so h of z equals. So that's our final answer. We found the z transform, sorry, sorry, we found the transfer function of a a system using a difference equation. So we didn't have the impulse response. What we did have was the difference equation. And we managed to find the transfer function.